Hey everybody, welcome back to Discover Spring Ford. I'm standing in front of F5 Fitness and Sports, located on Main Street in Spring City Borough. Today, I'm happy to sit down with the husband and wife team, Dave and Adrian Stetler. I'm Jeff Desiato, a professional actor, part-time realtor, and transplant to the Spring Ford area. And I'm on a mission to find the best that Spring Ford has to offer. I'll be interviewing local business owners, civil servants, and other prominent members of the community to find out what makes Spring Ford a great place to live, work, eat, and explore. I invite you to join me on my journey as I discover Spring Ford. Dave, Adrian, thanks for letting me come in. I really am looking forward to this. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Dave and Adrian were actually instrumental in me uh, getting in shape for a role back in the day. <laughs> Not that long ago, actually. It was like during the run of Discover Spring Ford and I was sharing that journey um, as I was going along. And now that you guys have uh, this location, I'm really excited to, to be here and see it. Uh, and we'll get a couple of shots before the end of the episode so everybody can see um, the work that you guys have done to make this place awesome. So anyway, let's... Uh, Let's go back to the beginning. So I'll start with you, Dave. You can tell us a little bit about your personal story. Um, well, born and raised in Roarsford. Yeah. Uh, pretty much have been here since 82. Um, I had a babysitter that was in Spring City, so okay. I never knew the difference. Really? Uh, I knew you went over a bridge when I was a kid, but yeah. I didn't know the difference between Roarsford and Spring yeah. City. So, um, But I worked for an investment company in Malvern. Uh, this new gym opened up in Malvern and it was always you know a dream of mine to like be a personal trainer um, I actually lost like 40 pounds with the help of another personal oh, wow. trainer uh, at a Gold's Gym in Oaks and I was kind of inspired by her mm -hmm. to be a personal trainer um, was doing that for about two years part-time and decided it was time to like leave the cubicle yeah and uh, <laughs> I do something that I, that. that I love yeah and I was doing that part time for about two years, and then decided it was time to to leave the corporate world and yeah. to go ahead and do that. Um, so I was out on the main line at a gym out there. Uh, 2003 is when I started uh, as being a personal trainer, and um, unfortunately, after it was like 2009, the gym went out of business. Okay, yeah. So the recession up, hit and everything. I would have oh, the 2008. Yeah. yeah, it was bad. So yeah. I started losing clients left and right. And then uh, another gym down the road, like wanted all of us trainers, so a lot oh, of us okay. went down there, yeah. um, trained down there, and uh, was there for about two years. Okay. And then I decided I, it was always a dream of mine to to live in Arizona. Yeah. So I moved out to Arizona, and um, I worked in a private studio. Just oh, what this really? is out there for two years and really learn the business out there there's gyms out there but it's yeah. a lot of private personal training studios yeah so kind of this guy took me under his wing and um, it was great I really learned the business and when I came home it's something that I really wanted to do but um uh, what 2015 is when I came back home right and um, I didn't get back into personal training right away because you have to kind of build your book up. Sure. And that takes, you know, as I told Adrian, that takes time. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a couple of years to build a, you know, a good book of solid yeah. clients of people that want a trainer. Um, so basically, I, I kind of got into a little home improvement again, okay. um, which was great because, you know, I ended up doing a lot of this on my own. Yeah. But uh, it was time in uh, 2000. When did we start? 2000. 17 when yeah, I kind I of started getting right. yeah. back into it yeah and um, you know we we're in a couple locations and then we decided um, just in uh, 2018 that it was time that we opened up our own spot yeah and here we are yeah <laughs> that's how I know why I think we first met at a Warriors for Business Association meeting yeah complete game yeah and yeah. Uh, I don't even know. I don't. I just kind of took a shot in the dark. I was like, "Hey, like, would you mind? I have to lose like twenty pounds for this role, like, and yeah. I need to do it in like eight weeks. So, yeah. like, I need to get serious, way more serious than I ever have. So, yeah. And uh, that's where we met, and I, it was an awesome time. Uh, the kids, my kids were involved, and yes. my son was planking, and I know that yeah. uh, at community day he was planking along with all the other kids yeah. and everything. And it's just, uh, it was really cool. Uh, it's cool to see where you guys are now because, you know, being there kind of around the beginning. Yeah. And uh, so, Adrian, let's talk a little bit about what your background is because obviously 
uh, you came you came in this by meeting Dave, I would imagine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, different background. Where were you? Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Pennsylvania. Okay. And when we met, uh, the, I think the first meeting date, whatever you want to call yeah. it, we had <laughs> he shared his dreams with me about yeah. you know his past with personal training. That was one of the big things that we shared an interest in together oh, cool. was fitness and yeah. working out. I was huge with that as well. And uh, so that was one thing that we really had in common. Yeah. And so I definitely, you know, from the beginning was, you know, understood what his dreams and goals were. Um, and he was very clear on that, yeah. which I really, you know, obviously wanted to support him in that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was saying we were in different locations and in 2018, we, you know, went through that point where we're like, at some point we really want to open our own place. Like this is something that he was really feeling called to do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, throughout 2018, we, you know, F5 was started well before that, yeah. you know, he has had F5 for years yeah. and it was to, coming to a point where you know, this has so much potential. It's so much more than fitness mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's about people and about community. And I saw that yeah. and I saw his vision very clearly. And, you know, in that we just really were going through that process of like, what's this going to look like? <laughs> Where are we going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Where can we really utilize your skills, my skills? I have a business background okay. and you know, one of our mottos is you're, we're better together. That's awesome. And that was what we've built this on together. And F5 was able to be more, you know, I don't emphasize, it was able to really start to live itself out mm -hmm. because I saw F5 and what he developed. He originally had a different name for yeah. his business and he changed it to F5. Oh, really? So I, you know, that story is really awesome yeah. because of, you know, really what it's more than fitness. Yes. Yeah. And it's about family, fellowship, friends. You know, we'll probably get into that. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, <clears throat> last year we had the opportunity to open our own place, yeah. and we had to take take that step, take a step of faith, but yeah. take a step of planned. You know, doing this, and and we really wanted to make this happen, and we're really thankful that we have this awesome spot, and we've been able to do this together. And mm -hmm. it was all timing because he, yeah. he's been doing this for years, right. <laughs> you know, and then together we were able to do this. So, I mean, I, of course, wanted to support him as my yeah. husband and, you know, we're doing this yeah. together. And so that's where we're at right yeah. now. So, so tell us a little bit about the origin of the name and stuff. Obviously you hinted at it, but uh, to let people know what the F, the five F's, uh, F5 mm -hmm. is and uh, kind of how you came up with the name mm. versus what it was before and how you realized that this was, this is the better way to go in terms yeah. of branding and stuff. What, um, it was actually, I called my business Stetler Fitness and Nutrition. Okay. Um, it was always kind of my dream to have like my name in lights, yeah. especially <laughs> in one of my hometowns. Yeah, right. So, um, that was the dream. Uh, so what happened was when, when these gyms went out of business, a lot of people didn't want to lose their trainers. So I started training them in their home. Right. Uh, I was doing boot camps at the park for a lot of my people that wanted to do boot camps. So, um, got into doing that stuff and then. Um, that's where you kind of need a name yeah. for that. So that's how I thought Stetler Fitness and Nutrition was kind of a me, you know, yeah. my name, lights, whatever. Yeah. So um, when I went out to Arizona, it was still Stetler Fitness and Nutrition. And I woke up one morning and I kept hearing this F5. Yeah. I didn't know where it was coming from. I didn't understand it. I just kept, kept hearing F5. So I kind of say like, you know, when you go into Wawa and if you hear like a Justin Bieber song, yeah. it's in your head all day. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of what it felt like where it was just this F5 all day and it would not leave. It would not go away. So I'm thinking, is the Lord putting something on my heart right now? Like I was really getting back into my faith, getting yeah. back into my Christianity and kept speaking to me in that way. So yeah. I'm like, okay, Lord. So I'm like, F. Is there five of them? Five Fs? Because no, there's no kind of tornado going on here. Right. <laughs> you know, anything like that or hurricane, whatever, right. whatever it is. And I'm like, okay, fitness. Yeah, you that's know. the one. <laughs> it's yeah. not like the feeling went away. It was like a feeling of like, like, ding, like you got it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So I kind of was like, fitness. I'm like, that sounds kind of cool. And then um, as I'm training my clients out in Arizona, these are people that I don't know. Like Arizona is a very transient state. Mm -hmm. So people come and go. 
like they'll tell you when you go out there, like be careful making friends with people oh, because wow. they might be here one month, they're going the next. Yeah. So I really started making friends with a lot of people. So I'm like, friends? I'm friends. <laughs> and it kind of felt felt cool. And I'm like, okay, fitness, friends. Well, as I started doing these boot camps at the park out there, you could do boot camps year round. Oh yeah, you of know, course. Because it doesn't yeah. really get cold. So I'm seeing these families all come to my boot camps. It's like the mom, the daughter, like the kids and their friends. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, we're building a cool little fitness family here. Like, yeah. this is pretty cool. And I'm out in Arizona by myself. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I knew one friend that was here that moved out there. But other than that, I was there by myself, just me and, and Tebow. Yeah. Like, hey. Your dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure everybody knows Tebow. Yeah. If you follow them at all, I think they know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so... Um, time kind of went on and I, I just really wasn't thinking about it. And like, again, I just kept hearing the F5 again. So at that point, I'm like, I have my, my friends, my fitness family, there's the three. Yeah. And I couldn't really think of things. Well, as I spend time in the word every morning, yeah. you know, time with the Lord in the Bible, I kept, he kept leading me to verses with like faith, in it. all this yeah. faith <laughs> all the time. And it just kind of hit me and I'm like, faith, like, okay. I get it. Yeah. So as time's going on, um, a lot of my clients, like we don't push Christianity on our clients, but yeah. if you, you know, if you can tell, like we can fix anybody, we can help you in that way. But on the inside, you know, we can also lead you in a direction yeah. where you can get that help. Yeah. So a lot of my clients, when I'd see them going through some, some trouble, I would invite them to church. Yeah. So you want to come to church with me? And, uh, the one day I remember sitting there and I like to sit on the end cause I'm yeah. claustrophobic yeah. <laughs> and I just looked down the aisle and there's the whole aisles full of me and my clients. Wow. And I was like, um, so it was faith Lord in, in that moment. Yeah. So all my faith, family, friends, and then I, I didn't really know the last one. So the last one, the last F took a long time, Yeah. maybe months. And they started at the church I was at. It was called Discipleship 101. Okay. And I was learning a lot about discipleship from, you know, uh, a man of wisdom out yeah. there. <laughs> and all of a sudden it hit me. Fellowship? <laughs> and I said, Lord, I'm not, I'm not a preacher. I'm not yeah. preaching to people. That's yeah. just not happening. So uh, I'm not really sure what you want with that. <laughs> So that's where the five F's came from. But what came out of the fellowship was later on was, was journeymen. And okay. that's our Christian brotherhood. Okay. Uh, we meet here every Wednesday night at 730. Every man yeah. <laughs> is welcome. Some of the guys bring their kids and stuff. Yeah. But um, we kind of just uh, hang out here on Wednesdays at 730 and just kind of support each other. We're there for our brother. And, yeah. Um, it's led to a lot of salvations at our church where wow. they feel comfortable coming to the men's group and yeah. just the whole circle of it sure. is just pretty amazing. Yeah. So, so I would think, like you had said, like you kind of had to take a step when you yeah. started to feel the lead. Like, I mean, obviously it would seems like it, it was an example where you had to kind of put your money where your mouth was because you have faith <laughs> in the name. Yes. yes. Now God's calling you to like take a step of faith to open this place. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, I've imagined there was some trepidation in those initial things because you're uh for those that don't know you were in a couple different locations sharing space and stuff like that yeah um mm -hmm. but it uh i would imagine that was you know it's hard to establish your own presence your own brand mm -hmm. when you're and i kind of i get that for sure yeah. like in, in real estate you know depending on which brokerage you work with you know they want you to build on the brand of the broker mm -hmm. yeah Whereas mm -hmm. if anybody who actually is worth their salt in real estate is building their own brand yeah. um, or is trying to, obviously Pennsylvania has some weird things about like you always have to have like the broker's name on everything and like it, the size font that you use, like the broker's phone number has to be equal or larger than oh, your wow. own phone. Yeah, there's like weird like yeah. real estate rules. Yeah. But there's also <laughs> a lot of like gray area. So like you can yeah. kind of, but it's hard because like depending on when I first started in real estate, not to bore you guys, but. I was working for a very large real estate brokerage. I won't mention their name, but you, mm -hmm. you would know it. Um, <laughs> they go by initials. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, but uh, they are very much on like lean on the brand, you know, like lean on our brand. And you're like, mm -hmm. oh, like, and when you start out, you're like, oh, that's great. Yeah, of course. Like, because nobody knows me from Adam. So yeah. um, why don't I just like, I work for this brokerage. Mm -hmm. That'll make you trust me. And then you realize like everybody that you're talking to, everybody you're meeting, they're agreeing to work with you because of you yeah not exactly. because of that so then it's like well why am i like investing and in, in putting on that brand yeah. 
And then they take like a cut of my income that I'm generating on my own. So then mm -hmm. I ended up roundabout way finding a place where I am now where it's a lot more entrepreneurial. Mm -hmm. uh, and they just kind of say, yeah, run your business the way you want to run your business. And then we pay a flat fee kind of yeah. thing, you know, it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like I, I can understand what, how that would be challenging because you're, you're building a, a very um, defined brand, yes. you know, that is unique yes. and, and it does, it takes faith to, to be outspoken mm -hmm. about yeah. the, the reason behind that. And I appreciate that yeah. you guys uh, willingness to do that. Um, so, that then leads you to, you know, the discussions of where and how and and, and actually yeah. like what does that look like? So uh, if you don't mind pulling back the curtain a little bit, you don't have to get into the, you know, the nighttime conversations in bed and all that kind of stuff about like, are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. This is not, you know, but, uh, you know, what were the, some of those initial conversations like? You know, honestly, we, so we met in early 2017. Yeah. We were engaged in early 2018, and so the full year of 2018, um, we were engaged, we were getting married. We did a lot of big things at one time. We bought a house, <laughs> and but the vision was still there. Yeah. And the mission was still there, and I just I saw it so much, and he continued to work on it. Yeah. It didn't matter what location. We were in two locations, so it feels yeah. like a lot, Yeah. but it felt like a lot. You know, yeah. We were in two different locations because he does not give up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was so encouraged by that. I'm like, we're not going to give up on this. And it wasn't, it got to a point where we don't want to say no. We want to yeah. say, how can we do that? Right. And that's just how I've been doing that because that, you know, an entrepreneurial thing, it, it, it's a little familiar to me, but mm -hmm. it wasn't as close or familiar to me as it was for him. Right. And so, but, you know, again, it was, I saw it. I really, and I believed in it. I believe in him and I believe in the mission of it. Mm -hmm. And so it was just like, how can we do this? Right. And <laughs> he did all the work. Like, where can we go? Where can we find a place? He was networking with people. Right. And that's, I don't even remember how he even got led to this place. He found the place. Yeah. I could tell and you. Oh, okay. so <laughs> he, he could talk about that. Yeah, sure. And I think it was just, it was a short amount of time. Yeah. But we are. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, how 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 I found this place was is obviously I know Roars Ford and Presley yeah. like the back of my hand. Um, I was actually looking for a batting cage. Okay. You know, another location uh, where I could have a batting cage, and um, this was like one of the streets. I mean, we everybody drives by here. Yeah. You know, seventeen thousand cars go by this That's building crazy. every single day. Yeah. So you know, I did look in the window and I saw it in here, and it was pretty beat up in yeah. here or whatever, but um, the problem was the ceiling was too low. Okay. You couldn't put a batting cage. The batting cage would fit, but when the ball would hit the net, it would go in the lights most likely or whatever. Right. So that wasn't gonna work out. So when it came around where we felt it was time, um, this is where we felt that this was the right location. Right. So I showed Adrian and I consistently tell her like, like the vision. Yeah. Like, don't just look at it what it's in, in here. <laughs> You know, you have to have that vision on what, what it's going to be. So, right. you know, the first thing was is we didn't know the color of the turf, but yeah. the turf was going from that door to the back. Yeah. And then we'll figure it out. Yeah. That's what we're going to do from there. Yeah, so. that's the good, the, that's the cornerstone or whatever, yeah. the, the red the red yes. carpet, yep. as it were. <laughs> yeah. But that's where it started. And, you know, I'm born and raised Roars Ford, yeah. but I lived in Spring City um, all through high school. Yeah. Um, and... To me, like like I said, it's it's the same to me. Yeah, you know, it really is. And uh, we love being over here. I lived in Spring City for for a while uh, on my own and like with my mom. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's yeah, that's really cool. I, I, I feel kind of the same way. I know like people. There's like this whole thing about the hyphen in Springford, and mm -hmm. I didn't put that in the name, and people were like, "You know, it has a hyphen, yes. right?" And I was like, yeah. <laughs> "Do I change it now? Like, I already like launched. Yeah. I already announced it, and then I so I just say now that." Well, it's because I don't see a distinction between the two. And I know yeah. people have their pride and, and the boroughs are unique and I understand all that, different counties, yeah. et cetera. But we share so much history and we share so much, mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody goes from one to the other. Like you can't get through one without going through the other. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, like, exactly. um, right. <laughs> and so I'm like, ah, it's okay. Like that'll make us stand out because we're mm -hmm. like, I see it as like, Discover Springboard is uniting the boroughs. Yes. So we take the hyphen out. I don't know. Absolutely. That's like, that's kind of the meaning I took or I put on my initial mistake <laughs> to be candid. <laughs> it was like, oh, I didn't know like it was that big of a deal. I just yeah. thought it was like typography that people yeah. were putting a hyphen there. But 
Yeah, yeah. so that's kind of funny how that, yeah, yeah, but like for someone, a lot of people have the same story where it's like, I grew up in Royersford, I live in Spring City, or I grew up in Spring City, I live yes. in Royersford. It's like, yeah. it's two, back, two sides of the same coin for a mm-hmm. lot of people, so it's cool. Yeah, um, yeah so the, uh, the work that you did here, obviously you said you had the contracting background. Mm-hmm. Um, how long was the process between like when you saw the place to when you signed the lease to when you actually opened your doors. Like, what was that process like? How long of a period is that? You said it was pretty quick, I would imagine. It felt quick. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot to do. In this <laughs> well, yeah, like, once you make the decision, didn't. it's like, yes. let's go, let's do it. Like, let's mm-hmm. open the doors. And be like, but there's still, like, <laughs> mouse feces in here. Yes. You know, we got to clean yeah. it up, yeah. you know, like. Uh, I think we, I think you found the place in May or June. I don't remember how We opened was... in September, middle of September. Oh, July so is when we was... signed the lease. Yeah, July. We signed the lease in July. And wow, we discussed, you know, opening it like September, October. And of course, you know, I'm, I'm a planner. Right. And I'm not. Checklists and stuff. Are you a checklist person? I or, am. Or to do this? My wife is too. Yeah. And it I've was started just to the, it was like the caution level of like, I think we need until October. I think we should open next year. But, you know, he just kept saying it, the failure is not an option. Yeah. This is going to happen. And I, you know, I understood. I agreed with him. And I didn't want to be too cautious, but I wanted to be reasonable. And right. so we always try to meet in the middle of that. Yeah. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so, um, like, we, you know, he says, I'm, I just keep it real. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to keep it real, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when in July, this place looked... <laughs> I'll just show, show you a different. picture if you want. Oh yeah. Um, like, Do flash you have a before and after? Oh yeah. Yeah. So if you could send after. me one, I Definitely. can put it up for yeah. everybody because I think they would really appreciate the work that you guys did and the yeah. color and the what I what I always find really awesome is when a new I mean obviously not a new business but when when someone puts a location in that the the color scheme the outlook everything is unified yes. with the brand because yes. I think sometimes people. They kind of leave that till last. Yeah. And I think that's such a, a huge thing. I mentioned the same thing with Sweet Aloha Balls when they opened. When I went in, that was the first episode of the season. And I said, like, it just feels like, not to, in, in a good way, it feels like a franchise. Because mm-hmm. it's so yeah clean and so clear. Yeah. Like, what their brand is. Yeah. Like, as soon as you walk in, you're like, this is Sweet you know. And yeah. I feel the same way here. Is that, like, you walk in and you're like, oh, wow. Like, every single part of it fits, like, the logo and every, you know, like, it's just a... It's very mm-hmm. polished, and the fact that you guys turned it around such quick well, from what it used to look like. He had it yeah. mapped out. Yeah. I mean, he even had the, it drawn out. But even the five, place. like, that's the blood of Christ. Oh, that's cool. That's what the five is. Yeah. You know, that's exactly what it is. That's why it had to be that font. Now, this font here, the F, um, if you don't have the CD, you can't even really find it. Oh, really? The guy who did the graphics on it, um, he did find it on whatever CAD, whatever yeah. that stuff's called. <laughs> he had it, but when I wanted to make new shirts and put Spring City, I could not find the font. Oh, really? We purchased a 2008 CD. 2000. Are you serious? Fonts <laughs> to keep the yes. font. Wow. So I don't know what I'm going to do so. if I ever see that. <laughs> I couldn't get it online, like, and download wow. it. Wow, how did like, you find that? the CD? We like Amazon. Amazon. Oh, really? Like, so Plug actually... Amazon while we were here. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't like this vintage, like, you know, $50. It was, it was like... It was used. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, used good condition. Yeah, like, two yeah. Oh, really? Two. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah now it's... Like At least you knew grill. what the font was named and where to look for it, because yeah. I would be like... Well, that's kind of what, what happened with Discover Springford. I... I Sorry, everybody who complains that I bring it, always talk about myself on the show. It's my show, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, Discover Springford started... I didn't have like a logo or anything, but mm-hmm. I was like, I want to do business cards. So I just picked like this kind of, this, this color scheme and stuff on Vistaprint that I liked. And the font was just whatever they provided. It's perfect. And it was like, <laughs> oh, okay. So actually, what's funny is that I didn't know what they used. So then when I actually started like designing logos, I just kind of got as close as I could to the Vista, mm-hmm. the business cards that I already made. Yeah. So the, yeah. <laughs> if you look at the business card... The font is slightly different, mm-hmm. but I actually I prefer the one that I ended up picking later yeah. on. But in terms of having like the lowercase D in Discover, like that was not like an intentional thing. It was just like the card that I picked, the, oh. the template that I I was like, oh, that looks good, and the capitalized spring for it. Yeah. And then I ended up just going, all right, that's, yeah. that's how we're doing it. So, that, yeah. but yeah, it's the same thing where I was kind of like, like if I don't now, I got to stick to this. Like you know, mm-hmm. like if I I can't change my font after. Yeah, you know, launching everything, so I could imagine the yes. <laughs> being like, "What? <laughs> How do I find this font?" Yeah. So, is that yeah. something you guys are going to do? You're going to start including like um, 
Spring City in the logo and stuff like that? Or you, well, you like at the decided, bottom, yeah, at the bottom, we have yeah. Roars Ford, you know, on the phone oh, number. Okay. Yeah. So you know, I wanted to add, you know, Spring City in our phone number. Yeah. Um, you know, things like that. We just have some cool hashtag shirts that yeah. we're going to come out with. Oh, yeah. sweet. Definitely for Community Day. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's a great, great time yeah. for for launching stuff like that because there's the most eyeballs mm-hmm. that you can get. That's what we did with the Scottish Spring Ford was. Yeah, the day before the first episode was Community Day, and I yeah. did that strategically, and yeah. uh, nobody knew who we were. I mm-hmm. made some I Heart Rofo T-shirts, and and the rest yeah. is yeah, history. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nobody yeah. knew who I was, but they liked the I Heart Rofo yeah. T-shirt. So yeah. that was like, whew. <laughs> you know, like, it wasn't yeah. all in vain, you know. So, yeah. which is yeah. interesting how you know because when we signed that lease, like I said, he had it mapped out. He had he had those ideas already. Yeah. He's had these this vision, and you know, be be able to put it in here. It was just amazing. So when we signed that lease, it was like we had ideas for that. We wanted to have, you know, merchandise. We wanted to do these things. And, you know, I I kept seeing that. And it was just, it was all timing with his background, with the contracting and and being able to to implement that and leverage that skill he had. That was just, it was just so awesome. And, you know, we're talking about like the different ideas, like even with you, you know, if you're, if you're super comfortable, like you're not growing and you're right. not staying with the times and how things change. So yeah. the ideas continue to come, Right. you know, we couldn't do everything at once, but yeah. it feels like we did in a way. And there's so much more. Yeah. There's, there's so phases much more that's kinda, still, yeah. yeah, there's phases there. So I think we kind of, as we're talking and even with you too, like that's kind of what we're operating off of too, is like, you know, you continue to, to grow and develop the brand and yeah. we're finally able to have a place where we could live out the brand of f5 right. really and cool. have an atmosphere to bring in the clientele that we're looking for and that we we want to have here yeah and remember when i told you you know the lord wastes nothing no matter what yeah you follow the path he has for your life he wastes nothing yeah so i told adrian there were there were many days and i think i even text you with you know, certain people that I would be working with that just were not nice people. Yeah. And, or being on a ladder, freezing, yeah. 20 degrees, and I'm hammering a nail and hitting my finger. And many times, you know, 20, 30 feet in the air, like, Lord, why, why am I doing this? Yeah. I don't understand this, you know. But he was preparing me, us, to do all the work in here so I knew what I was doing. Right. You know. Yeah, so, so that you didn't exactly have to hire why. a bunch of other people, <laughs> yeah, to do and the work. it makes it so much more meaningful because... Oh, yeah. It is like a labor of love here. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely. So. Well, the fact that you can, you know what the wall, what it looked like behind that wall before, you know, like, and you can see yeah. like <laughs> the transformation. And I'm sure for you guys, like, well, like you said, Dave, like it probably felt slow as you're like, yeah, <laughs> you know, ripping out this uh, and doing that. But I mean, what was it? You said July to September. Yeah, we opened in September, yeah, which we is had, crazy. We had somebody come in. Uh, and do a consultation while we still had paint cans and things. Yeah, yeah. It was it was safe to come in at that <laughs> yeah. point. Yeah. But that was a cool memory, I think, yeah. because yeah. it was like somebody's interested and they don't care that we are still right. in the process <laughs> of um, doing this. Yeah, I think it's that's the one thing because I drive fast all the time uh, on my way to work, and it's just so. It's it was eye catching. It's like there are lights on there. Like yeah. what's going on? Everybody's yeah. like peered in. Like oh my goodness, this is awesome. Like, you know because unfortunately there have been a lot of you know vacant storefronts for a while. So like to see life and and vibrancy in mm-hmm. the midst of it, it's like oh everybody's kind of like oh I want to see what's going on there. Yeah. And now we have a couple other places that are that are mm-hmm. in the works and stuff. So that's exciting. And and I know that was the same way with Royers Ford. Is like as things, but they always kind of need that initial. You know, yeah. that person, you know, yeah. like it, we yeah. got tuned up and, and, and some of these places that were like opening before. And as you said, like it's kind of before Spring City is the mm-hmm. next big thing. You know, mm-hmm. like you're, you got to yeah. have people it that is. are willing to see the vision, mm-hmm. uh, to borrow your term, uh, for what it will be mm-hmm. and start to act according to that. You know, yeah. like, and, uh, you know, we, I'm excited to see, you know, the thing that's things that are going to continue to happen uh, in both boroughs mm-hmm. because we're starting to see. Especially like young families and stuff too, because they're yeah. the more um, young families that invest. That's like where the next generation is coming from, mm-hmm. and we can make Spring City and Royers Ford better for mm-hmm. our children than it was oh, yeah. for us or yeah. whatever, you know. Um, yeah, and not not deriding or, or or saying anything negative about how what it is, but like just to say like we can. It's like you said, like if we're comfortable, you're not growing. Like we, there is so much. Uh, untapped potential yes. mm-hmm. so to see you guys working here and, and, and really putting you know boots on the ground and, and 
investing yeah. in it. It's really exciting for well, me as a, someone who's kind of just cheering you on from the side, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. watching it happen as a, you know, knowing where you've come from mm-hmm. and, and now where you are. It's really encouraging. Mm-hmm. And, and I had, because I had that door open. It was pretty hot in here. There was no, there wasn't electric in here in the very beginning so there wasn't air conditioning oh, so gosh. you know i had a respirator on and it was hot I'd come home and change or i'd bring another t-shirt here and people would walk in that door and i would tell them and, and almost ever some people would say you know it's good to see that here yeah a lot of people would be like you know don't get used to it. it's not going to last oh, you man. know and this <laughs> and that and that's kind of the attitude yeah. with, uh, with some of the people but um but there was more positivity yeah the negativity but regardless of what's said it doesn't matter right like you said for the children like we plan on this is gonna be our children hopefully inherit this yeah you know so we're not going anywhere right that's awesome <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um so tell me a little bit about we got to introduce our friend back here because I, I would i would be, i would i would be very upset if i i missed that opportunity he doesn't talk much no he doesn't but he he watches on and scrutinizes <laughs> Like a guardian angel, making sure that you guys are operating. Yeah. Um, so we have Bob back here. So I know that I remember when you got him. Actually, I think I was there. Yes. Or like when you brought him in for the first time. Yeah. So I don't, I should tell people the story of Bob. So the introduction, do you want to Bob? or do you want to introduce him to the, the the public? Well, basically, I got like a lot of the things. We had a lot of our equipment in our basement, so we were okay. preparing for this. Oh, okay. So, um, on the marketplace, the one thing that I it's. I don't want to say it's 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 not being mean, yeah. <laughs> but I love when you know people buy like new equipment and they're all gun ho and they're, they're going to use like their new treadmill or whatever. They end up not using it. Yeah, they just and hang then, their laundry on it in the basement. Yes. So, yeah, <laughs> and we have some brand new equipment, yeah. but some of the other stuff, like I then come in or a lot of us gym guys come in and buy that stuff for almost nothing. Yeah. So Bob knew he's like three hundred dollars, so I think yeah. I got him for maybe a hundred bucks. If okay. That. So um, the gentleman sold it to me, and I brought him into the studio, and I don't know what it was about him. I never had one. Yeah. But it's like when I'd buy a power tool, I'd get so excited. Yeah. Like, power tool. <laughs> so when I get like a new dumbbell or a new bench or something or, or some of our attachments, yeah. you know, I got to run it by the boss first before I can get yeah. it. <laughs> you know, sometimes I sneak them in here and just say them later, and I'm like, I had that. <laughs> But Bob, we, we brought him the community day, yeah. you know, just because, I don't yeah. know. And it's eye-catching. And yeah. the kids loved yeah. it. They're, like, yeah. beating on him. And yeah. there's no sand in the one we brought to community, oh, okay. community day because it's, it's so heavy. Yeah. And, you know, we were holding it and stuff, and the kids loved it. So that's where it kind of happened. The children of, of like, Springford yeah. um, loved Bob. So then we all just became a big love affair. So, and when I had, when this wasn't open yet, I had the paper in the windows and I pulled the paper back and I stuck it in the window <laughs> and people would walk by when I'm in here and they're like, your thing in there, you know, scared me. Yeah. And 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 just like this like imposing figure, yeah. like peering out the window. They, they the thought it was like something like Creepo or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So yeah, yeah, it's pretty pretty intense. But yeah, he's he's yeah. he's looking over you guys like a guardian angel right now. He's like right over your shoulders. It's really funny. But all your fat and all your calories and all your stress, he absorbs it all. Yeah, that's right. So if you want to do that? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, the uh, he just has that. There's something about him. He's got a personality all to himself. I actually, <laughs> if I can make, make a suggestion for whoever runs the social media, I think you should start an Instagram. <laughs> Of just Great Bob, yeah. Yeah. five Bob, yeah. and like just I like can. I mean, obviously he's full of sand, so moving around, but yeah. like pictures of him in different locations mm-hmm. with the F five logo. I have another so that... stand with nothing in it. That's oh, okay. Back there, but that one's there, so we can. Like, where's going. Bob? <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just like find him. He's like he's eating at Anna Marie's today. He's yeah. eating. At, you know, that's a great idea. Yeah. So I don't know. I just think it'd be funny, like. And then people like could take pictures with him and stuff like right that. Right around the truck yeah. with him in the passenger seat. Do selfies with Bob. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's like breakfast right, with yeah. Bob, Bob Kelly. Or, you know, he comes yeah. around and like, no, we got breakfast it, with our Bob. Bob. Yeah. yeah, box with Bob. Box with Bob. <laughs> That'd be great. And I won't charge you for that idea. You can have it. I have the documentation that it was my idea. So yes. I can always prove exactly. it in a court of law. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so uh, tell people a little bit about uh, the offerings that you have here if they're, if they're particularly interested. Yeah, so um, we've really narrowed it down okay. because we want to leave those options open for our, like very personalized training. Okay, and so really, we're we're about accountability, we're about education, we're about caring for our clients, and we're about like that personalization. Mm-hmm. So, 
it's custom to you. When you come in here, this studio is yours. Wow. So if you are looking for that one-on-one -on -one attention, you don't like classes, you know, classes are great, but they aren't for everybody. Right. But we do have small group training as well. So we, we really focus on our one-on-one -on -one training. Um, you get a full consultation. We work with you. We will go to the grocery store with you, show oh, wow. you how to, how to buy food. Read food labels. Um, yeah. Read food labels, um, cook things. We also teach our clients how to make protein smoothies, which we can do here in the studio. Um, and we also write meal plans. Okay. And so a lot of the brains behind that is, is Dave. Mm -hmm. um, but we work together on things too, because I have a passion for it as well. I had it as a hobby. And so it's really exciting to work together on some of that, but he develops the workout plans right. and the workout plan is for you. So if you have some kind of, you know, limitation or you need modifications, you know, you get Gluten, that customization like that. Yeah. here. Yeah. With the meal plan or with, the workouts mm -hmm. so it's it's really about you and your goals we talk to you we, we get to know you um, you're not just another client that comes in here mm -hmm. we don't have multiple trainers mm -hmm. you know we want to build that family here right. and um, that's you know what we care about so but we have the options with a small group training as well so we've had people reach out and say I'm looking for a class I'm looking for a small group and we we've kept a list of people because yeah. we, said we can pair you up with people sure um, we can do up to five people in here and we are, we're looking, we're excited for that. I'm yeah. excited to have a couple groups in here, or if you have a couple of friends that you want to do it with. Yeah. Um, and we work with everybody, like wherever you're at. So, yeah, that's one thing I know from, I can give a personal, personal testimonial. Um, <laughs> I still refer back to the initial, uh, you know, the education as it were with the meal plan and stuff. Like mm -hmm. I remember a lot of things you talked about, like limiting inflammation and, mm -hmm. and, and I still, uh, I know some people might say, well, but you don't look great. Uh, but that's just that's just age and and exhaustion. We're that's about not the same effort, thing. Yeah, that's not right. About that's We're right. About so, effort. but uh, I mean, like I I seriously I I am probably I think I lost twenty pounds in like yeah, in like six or eight weeks or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And I was getting stronger and stronger. Yeah. Um, so I can definitely personally vouch for the what they do here because <laughs> I was uh, I got to benefit from it and it was it was awesome. And I still like I said I still refer back to. Um, what foods to avoid and that kind of thing. I'm not always good with it, but yeah. like you said, it's not perfection. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We live by the 80 That's right. Rule. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. And, and the inflammation thing is like a huge, that's the biggest mm. thing, you know, yeah. and I know we all struggle with that. So, uh, <laughs> um, and, it, and, and in terms of modification, I had had a, an, in, an injury um, a while ago, 2016, um, but I still have the, the ramifications of it. And, even the workouts, you know, there wasn't like this push through it, you know, like yeah. pain is gay. And it was yeah, like, nah. <laughs> it was like, oh, like, I don't want your knee to give out while we're doing this yeah. workout and stuff. So <laughs> let's it. modify it. Yeah. Like, yeah. so it was really helpful because, um, the, uh, I actually ended up after the fact I, uh, I re-injured my knee and it turned out, I didn't know this, but I have a torn meniscus. So mm -hmm. I, like, I didn't know that was what the injury was, but I, the fact that I wasn't pushing 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 mm -hmm. you know like that could have been something really yeah. <laughs> significant yeah. so i uh you know i've since you know started to really work on my the muscles in my legs and mm -hmm. i had a physical therapist for a while because i had i had partially torn my quad muscle which then revealed the the meniscus tear so yeah because do it. <laughs> yeah it's pretty crazy so uh, but all those things to say like yeah i and my wife uh my kids were involved it was really cool actually because yeah. we were like you know, we miss you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I need to. I need to figure it out. So. Yeah. If Discover Springford were to ever like explode and become a, a money making venture, and, <laughs> you know, and I didn't work forty five hours a week and commute yeah. ten, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the thing. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, things have changed significantly since then in terms of my my availability and stuff. So, we we all we all uh, make sacrifices, I, I guess. But um, yeah, the. Uh, I, I guess I, I I don't know if I can oversell it, but yeah, I I, I highly recommend it, and they're just good people, so that, that helps as well. Oh, so, um, but uh, as we wrap up, why don't you let people know? Uh, unless you're not ready, if there's more that I, we haven't gotten to, I would love to talk about it. So this is your platform, but uh, if uh, if we if we've covered everything, uh, why don't you let people know how they can get in touch with you online and and over the phone? Yes, definitely. Well, it, it is a unique studio, so yeah. we definitely, um, I think, offer something that isn't really available in the area. Yeah. Um, we're not a gym. We're a, you know, a personal training private studio, and you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, 
LinkedIn at F5 Fitness and Sports. Okay. And our website is F5 Fitness and Sports, A N D is spelled out. Okay. Dot com. And we're uh, located on 105 North Main Street, Spring City, Pennsylvania. So we're right downtown. We have big signage out front. Yep. So you can't miss <laughs> us on Main Street. We have people driving by all the time. And we uh, have a phone number as well. You can okay. reach us at, which is 610-474-2540. 2540. So, awesome. Yeah. And all those links will be below the video as yep. always. Uh, so I encourage you guys to check out what Dave and Adrian are doing here in Spring City. And if you do get in touch with them as a result of seeing them on Discover Spring Ford, make sure you let them know that. Because yes. um, I'm sure they would appreciate that as well. And if you would like to pick up a free Discover Spring Ford magnet, come come to F5 <laughs> Fitness. The yes. desk. The sports, because they're at the front desk. So there you go, so you kill two birds with one stone. Yes. You can support F5 Fitness and Discover Spring Ford. Yes. So, well, Dave, Adrian, thank you so much. I'm so glad we were finally able to do this. Yes. And, yeah. and in, in the place that you envisioned before, yes. when I first contacted you, I was like, hey, let's do this. You're yeah. like, no, wait, no, let's wait a little bit because <laughs> things are happening and, and we want to make sure that everything's ready to go. So yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you uh, yeah. you uh, pumping the brakes on me because I'm like, I'm just like you. Yeah. Like, I'm like, let's do it. I met you. You have a business. Let's do an interview. Yeah. You know? So yeah. uh, I appreciate it very much. Thank I wish you, you guys yeah. huge success. Thank you. Well, that's all the time we have for today's episode of Discover Spring Ford. I want to thank you for watching, and I also want to thank Dave and Adrian, not only for their time today, but for investing in my family's fitness journey back in 2018. If you would like to know more about F5 Fitness and Sports, you can visit the variety of links below the video. You can also reach out to them by phone or just stop in. If you like Discover Spring Ford and the work that we're doing and would like to support us, you can do that in a number of ways. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and our podcast. You can also subscribe to our free newsletter by visiting discoverspringford.com. If you'd like to support us financially, you can do that in a number of ways as well. You can support us for as little as $1 a month through our Patreon site. You can also make a one-time PayPal contribution or you can purchase some of our merchandise in our online store. Thanks again for watching. If you notice any car horns honking during these intros in the past episodes, it was actually Dave driving past, seeing me and honking. So since he's inside, we won't be hearing that this time. But until next time, get out there on your own journey to discover what makes the Springford area a great place to live, work, eat, and explore.